southwest at the turn of the century, ruthless gangs of outlaws pillaged and robbed at will. With utter contempt for the lives of all but their own, they terrorized everyone, sometimes entire communities. Due to the quiet courage of a fearless man, the reign of terror of such a gang was ended. Rex Allen stars as the Frontier Doctor. The names of these three men, Will Carver, Ben Kilpatrick, and Bill Jones, members of the infamous Hole in the Wall game. They were watching the Elkton County Jail. In it, waiting to go on trial for his life at the courthouse across the street was Butch Cassidy, leader of the gang and as ruthless a killer and desperado as ever appeared in the West. What the three men were about to do, attempt a bizarre rescue of their leader, was to trigger the worst disaster in Elkton's history. There goes the sheriff. They'll be bringing Butch out any minute. Teaspoonful of this night and morning. That ought to fix you up. <laughs> That's funny. I must have a new patient. The old ones never knock. Excuse me. Come in. The door's always open. Thanks. You Dr. Baxter? Yes. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm from Twin Peaks. My mother's up there hurt bad. The horses ran away with the buckboard. Can you come quick? Well, I'm going out on a call. How bad is she? Well, she can't move. I think her leg's broken. Please, doctor. I'll get my bag. Let's go. She's in there. You said she was too sick to move. You said you couldn't. Never mind the question. The patients are in there. Him first, Doc. He's hitting the neck. Oh. You're Butch Cassidy. Yeah. Never mind who I am. Go to work. Bad shape. I'll take care of him first. You'll take care of me first. I'll need some towels and some hot water. I'll get it for you, Doc. Get out of here and shut the door. I said you'll take me first. This man's near death, and you're not. Never mind about him. I'm in pain. Take me first. Shut up. Oh. 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 I did everything I could for him. 
different, Doc. If I die, you and me is gonna have a double burial. Oh! Well? The bullet's out, but he'll be in critical condition for the next few days. Where do you think you're going, Doc? Back to town. So you can tell the law who you operated on, where our hideout is? Think again, Doc. So it is Cassidy. The Sawbone's gonna be our guest for the next few days, men. He'll put you back on his feet. I want you to take care of him. Take good care of him. Don't let him out of your sight for a minute. I became the gang's prisoner, under constant armed guard and unable to get a message to the sheriff. Hello, Doc. Enjoying your vacation? There are a lot of sick people in Rising Springs that need my attention. You'll pay for this someday. <laughs> May you live to see the day. Come on, Doc. Go to work. Call Carver, Ben. Carver? How long do you think before the wound will heal, Doc? A couple of days. Good. Want me, Butch? Yeah, sit down. You too, Ben. The doc says the wound will be healed in a couple of days. That means we can start thinking about making some money. I've been waiting for you to say that, Butch. With you in jail for the last couple of months, we're down to our last few dollars. I know. We're gonna hold up the Elkton Bank. The Elkton Bank? That's right. Since they built the dam up here, a lot of new industries have moved in. Yeah, the bank's loaded with their payrolls. Uh, but, Butch, we just broke you out of Elkton. The sheriff will be waiting for us. Ben's right, Butch. We ought to make tracks far away from here. Phoenix or Amarillo, maybe. Them banks is loaded, too, you know. You're wrong. I got a plan that... Oh! Go easy, will you, Doc? No matter, Cassidy, I thought you were tough. <sighs> Tell Laura to bring me something to drink, will you? Coffee, anything. <clears throat> Laura, bring Butch some coffee. What's the plan? The dam I was talking about. You know where it is? Yeah, it's a couple miles from here. What about it? What do you suppose would happen if uh, there was a break in that dam, a bad one? The sheriff and half the town would be up there to fix it. That's right. That's our plan. We're going to blow up the dam. Just one thing, Butch. What about the doc? He'll spill everything he's heard. No, he won't. Will you, doc? <laughs> I knew you were rotten, but I didn't think you'd try to hurt a woman. Give me your gun, Ben. Don't kill him yet, Butch. You'll need him to take care of the wound. I said, give me your gun. All right, Doc. Say your prayers. Wait a minute. Ben's right. You may need him. And as for you... I don't need any panty-waist gentleman to stick up for me. What happens to me is my affair, not yours. You're as rotten as he is. Did he hurt you, Butch? Nah. Get him out of here, boys. Have him back tomorrow in time for my next appointment. <laughs> you told him, honey. You really told him. <laughs> Patty Wayne, gentlemen. <laughs> Aware of my imminent death, I watched ceasingly for an opportunity to escape. But guarded as I was day and night, none presented itself. With frightening speed came the day when Cassidy had fully recovered. Everybody set? Yeah. Good. Take care of the doc. Can I go with you? All right, Butch? Sure. But hurry it up. I want to get to the dam. Hold it, Doc. I hate 
hate to kill a man in cold blood. I'm going to let you make a run for it. As a doctor, I've seen a lot of death. Why don't you try it, Doc? Maybe you'll be luckier than Phil. For. I don't know. Nerves, I guess. Let me do it. You're a bloodthirsty one. He killed Phil, didn't he? when I said that. I know you did everything you could to help Phil. I'm not forgetting how you took care of him first, before Cassidy. And I'm paying you back by saving your life. What about you and Cassidy the other day? I hate him. But I had to do that or he would have shot you. They're coming past on the way back to the dam. Pistol. I'm going to need her. Woods said he doesn't want this around camp as evidence. He's got to bury it with him. I'll take care of it. She's gone. What do you want me to do? I'm tired. There. Help me off with this coat. Not broken. We'll have to get the bullet out before we can stop the bleeding. Get the scissors out of that bag. You want me to do it? Yes, you'll have to. I can't reach it. Put it right back here. Here, this is forceps. Probe in there till you find the bullet. Oh, Doc, it's awful steep. You sure you can take it? Oh, there, I think I've touched it. A little to the left. Oh. Oh. Stuff these in the wound. Hurry. Fine. I've got to get to Elkton and warn Sheriff Quinn about the holdup. Laura, why don't you come with me? No, Not doctor. too late for you to start over. Even if I wanted to. If I tried leaving here, Cassie would hunt me down and kill me. Kill you anyway when he finds out you saved me. You're wounded. It's a long ride back to Elton. Maybe you won't even make it. Suppose I do. You're a nice guy, Doc. Take my horse. Get out of here. Put enough and powder to blow that dam off the face of the mat. I'm gone. The whole town's gonna be flooded. Why? Let them all drown like rats. Cleaning out the bank will be that much easier. Come on. you heard a while ago was the dam. Someone's blown it up. Now, with these rain clouds forming, we don't get some sandbags into that gorge. Elkton's gonna be under 10 feet of water. Get all the men you can, because we're gonna need all the help we can get.
it now. The only thing we can do is budget the guards levy. Maybe that'll save the town. All right, everyone to the levy. Doc, were you with him? Yeah. Jim, bring the other deputies and follow us. We'll need a doctor in town to help us with the flood victims. Better come along. As if fate were on the side of Cassidy and his gang, the deluge continued. The people of Elkton fought valiantly to buttress the levee. But it was a losing fight. Soon it had to be abandoned. itself was completely flooded. Desperate men and women abandoned their homes and possessions and ran for their lives. Despite the flood, Sheriff Quinn and his deputies made it to the bank, but they were too late. The gang had stolen the money and left death in their wake. Meanwhile, I'd established the first aid station at the courthouse, the only building on high ground. And there I attended to flood victims far into the night. At long last, the rain stopped. The morning dawned bright and clear. I was about to get some much-needed sleep myself when... Got bad news, Doc. The gang killed a guard, robbed the bank, and got clean away. But with this flood, we couldn't follow them. I think I can help you. I know where their hideout is, and I can lead you to it. But, Doc, you need some rest. I'll make it. I have a reason for wanting to go. The girl you told me about? Yeah. Get yourself a cup of coffee. I'll round up a posse and we'll meet you here. Clyder! Yo, Patrick! Morning, Butch. What oh. kind of late? Yeah, big night. <laughs> Where's Ben? Oh, he's out in the woods. We figured he'd want to break camp today, so he went out to check to see if Laura did a good job of burying the doc's body so there won't be no evidence. <laughs> Yeah, well, before we leave, we'll get rid of the dog's buggy. Dump it over a cliff somewhere. How much money we take from the bank, Butch? I don't know. Too tired to count it last night. There, you count it. I, uh, brought you some breakfast, Butch. Set it down on the table, will you, Laura? Say, it's like a good haul. Yeah, enough for a 12 vacation, huh? Yeah. Uh... You got back so late last night, I didn't get a chance to ask. You have any trouble? Nah, everybody fighting a flood, it was a lead pipe cinch. No one tried to stop you. <laughs> Who tried to stop us? Well, I don't know. I thought maybe the sheriff or somebody. There was a guard at the bank. Ben plugged him fast. Butch, I think we ought to break camp and get out of here. We will, sooner than that. What are you so nervous about, Laura? I'm not. I think we ought to get out. <sighs> Sorry, Butch. I... I guess I am nervous. Where's Kilpatrick? He should be back. He's making sure you did a good job of burying the dock. Couldn't find a grave or the body. Where's the dock, Laura? I... I can explain. You... Where's the money that was here, Laura? money that was on the table. I said, where's the money? I don't know. 
You don't want my thumbprints on that pretty little throat of yours. Tell Butch where it is. to the bank. Hold out your hand. That won't be necessary. <sighs> Thanks, Doc. Hello, Doc. Hello, Sheriff. I just wanted to say goodbye. See you at the trial. Goodbye, Doc, and thanks. This time, Cassidy's going to trial. He won't get away from me again. Where's Laura? She's in the back cell. I'd like to see her for a minute. All right. I came to say goodbye, Laura. Oh, hello, Doc. If you tell the truth at the trial, I'll try to get you parole. I will. And after the trial, come and see me. I'd like to help. Thanks. Thanks again. <laughs> 